the Tarikin series. An early run and gun inspired by Metroid and Contra and created by Manfred Trends, this pioneering series saw success on a variety of different platforms from consoles to home computers, with the Commodore 64 version usually being hailed as the best of the bunch. It's known for its expansive level design, numerous secret areas, excellent soundtrack by Chris Hillsbeck and rock hard gameplay. It was hailed as an instant classic and several sequels were put into production. The game's cover art was inspired by Man of War, and Turrican 2 was even rebranded as Universal Soldier on home consoles, which is why I frustratingly could never find it. I personally never got many chances to play it except at a friend's house here and there, but all I remember is seeing and hearing this amazing game, then walking forward a few steps and getting cleaned up over and over and over again. So that never made me a huge fan, but it doesn't mean that I don't respect or admire it. And the fan base is gigantic and you really can't deny its significance as an early run and gun shooter. My favourite instalment is Super Turrican 2. It pushes the SNES to its absolute limits. What an amazing game. Following Super Turrican 2, there were numerous attempts to push the series into 3D, but it just never got there. But in 2008, after an absence of around 13 years, a group of Mega Turrican fans who now run the indie studio Winterworks broke the drought by developing their own fan tribute, titled Hurricane. It went on to win second place in the 2008 Indie Game Showcase Contest, and for good reason. It's absolutely ace. The game plays just like the series that inspired it, and you control your Space Marine through nine enormous levels that are as difficult as they are expansive. Each one is filled with secret areas and power-ups, which are needed to survive the onslaught of tough enemies as you progress further into the game. You've got access to three primary weapons, the spread shot, laser and rebound, which can be powered up several times. In the original Turrican games, you couldn't fire your primary weapon in any direction, something that put me off the earlier releases. Winterworks have improved the game engine though by adding this mechanic and it makes the whole Turrican experience much better. You've also got three secondary weapons in the grenade launcher, the screen wiping smart bomb, and one of the more unique additions, a concentrated laser beam that can be fired and moved in a 360 degree arc. You can also charge that laser into a concentrated blast, but it takes some time and it's only useful in certain situations. Hurricane can roll into an indestructible ball and drop bombs, kind of like another deep space hero. This particular mechanic leads to another nice addition, the roll jump. You can roll yourself off the edge of the platform and jump in mid-air, gaining much more distance and momentum than you normally would. The presentation is faultless, especially for a game that was developed on no budget by fans. From the moment you boot the game up, you're hit with a stunning soundtrack, one that Chris Hillsbeck would be proud of and the sheer level of polish is plain to see, from the rendered sprites to the incredibly lush and detailed backgrounds. There's a massive amount of different enemies and they are numerous and aggressive. You'll need to find every secret and power up to make any real progress, and patience is essential. Hey, Patience in a run and gun? You're joking, aren't ya? Bosses are huge and detailed, providing a hefty challenge, and they are biomechanical monstrosities that generally appear around halfway through a level. Another unique trait of the Turrican series. These fights are pretty gruelling and you'll still have to make your way through the rest of the level afterwards. So as far as Turrican goes, this game is the perfect addition to a stellar series. I love it, but I just wish I could get on with it a bit more as I can't seem to get past the third friggin' stage. So I highly recommend it, but be prepared for a challenge. Isn't it wonderful to see the lengths that fans will go to to honour and sometimes even continue their favourite game series? They even went as far as to create a two-player co-op mode, which is a first for the series, and it works pretty well. My hat goes off to all of you. Continue what you're doing as I believe it influences game developers and sometimes even pushes them to do the things they need to do. <coughs> Return of Samus. If you're keen to try Hurricane out, you can get it for free from Winterworks website. Go on, treat yourself. It took them around five years of hard, unpaid work to realise this dream. Sometimes good IP lays dormant for decades until a fan somewhere stands up and says, No! It's been way too long. The world needs a new Turrican. And for that, 
I'm always grateful and searching. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again real soon.